are so many interesting and great looking RC airplanes. And a while ago I did purchase this uh, clipped wing Cub 1.2 meter and I featured this uh, plane on this channel previously. Uh, the thing is, I had some problems. One of the first uh, round of flights I did, I did have some sort of uh, power loss uh, in a turn and, and the plane went down and did actually break the, uh, the, one of the mounts for the landing gears. And since then I had some really problems with this uh, RC airplane because I don't think it's a really nicely designed um, landing gears on, on this RC airplane because uh, these are one of the uh, wheels with wheel pans and everything and uh, the, the mount is actually a, a kind of a cross mount and there's supposed to be like a spring inside in this yellow part uh, but um, as the mount for this one did actually break uh, this, this actually has a steel part which uh, just breaks clean off if you have kind of a rough landing um, so it doesn't take much force. I don't know if, if I went through like three sets of landing gears and then I just got tired of it and, and was all, all, uh, almost just uh, going to, to retire this one to be an, a float only RC airplane. But then I, I decided to do some sort of modification. So uh, this side is actually the, the side that is broken. So I glued this into place and then I put some uh, reinforced tape uh, just to hold these parts together and but I removed this um, kind of spring mechanism in the middle and only used a, a steel wire between these two so uh, the advantage is of course uh, that this is a much simpler construction and, and these uh, wheel legs with pans and, and wheel houses they, they won't really break because they are sturdy. So it's this, this mount that is actually the, the weak part and this, uh, the, the middle part which is this one. They the are the really bad parts. So by having a wire like this, uh, if I get a kind of a hit this one just turns one or the other way. So it's not a perfect solution, but it does actually work. The downside is when on landing you can, uh, on rougher landing you can actually have the plane a little bit tilted uh, when it's on the ground, but it doesn't matter because it, it runs fine anyway. And the, the included wheels are also kind of stiff. So I put these rubber wheels on this one, which are a little bit smaller, but they're also much softer so they will uh, absorb uh, some bouncing. And this RC airplane, I think it's, it's, a, it's a truly uh, a great flying RC airplane and it does feature this nice hatch also. So you have a great uh, space just like on the Turbo Timber Evolution. Uh, and the, the fuse is also in, uh, in reinforced with these carbon fiber rolls which goes, I think, um, way back into the fuselage. So it's, it's just a great fun 3S RC airplane, but the landing gears uh, as they are designed, they kind of suck really. And if you, <coughs> if you com compare this one uh, to my FMS J3 Cub, the 1400mm, it does have a super sturdy landing gear which just uh, contains a very kind of a s steel construction. So although it does also feature this cross with, with springs, everything is in, in steel, so it, it won't, won't break really. <laughs> so it's, it's a bit sad really, really that having this great RC airplane and the landing gears just suck. Uh, so let's uh, go outside and, and try these gears and just watch a, a lovely early morning flight on this E-Flight clipped wing cab. It's just a, you know, a great fun flying RC airplane. Here's the E-Flight then with my modification on the landing gears. As you can see, if I tilt this plane, you can see that um, it does actually articulate. So let's get it up in the air then. Runway is clear. So it's really easy to take off and uh, it's agile and aerobatic, although being only a 3S RC airplane out of the box. And I love this RC airplane because it is agile, easy to fly, 
the yellow color on it uh, makes it really visible and easy to tell orientation. It's a fun, uncomplicated RC airplane, but um, as I said, the landing gears, uh, they are the part that breaks. So I really wish that E-Flight had made a better constructed landing gear assembly. And I'm flying this one with my NX-10. And I also have uh, swapped the receiver inside. So there's an AR637T. And I also hooked up the um, battery cable to the uh, battery lead. So I have battery telemetry sent to my TX. So if you hear any beeping, it's actually the low voltage alarm being triggered. But this is super fun just to go around the sky, roll fast and very easy to handle and manage with a good speed also. So this is lovely, just being up early in the morning, no people around, having the low sun rays on the ground and hitting the yellow paint on the RC airplane just makes it look really beautiful. And I know this Clitwing Cub isn't available anymore, so it's discontinued. But as long as it will fly, I will certainly keep it. And hopefully the landing gears do hold up, or I'm at least able to repair them without purchasing purchase any other additional parts. So there is a bit of an odd prop noise in certain angles. So you can hear. Now you have the ESC alarm being triggered. And I'm flying this one on a 3S 2200 milliamp battery. And I believe you can actually do some sort of modification to have this one flying on 4S. I haven't experienced uh, doing that, so uh, I do have a spare speed controller so that might be my next project for this one maybe set up reverse thrust as well with an avian ESC and I would really like to fly this on floats also but uh, that's for next year And even without flaps, I think, you know, nicely behaved, slower flying, works great. Let's get it down then, and let's just uh, keep my fingers crossed that landing gears will hold. Uh, it appears to to be in one piece still. <laughs>
This uh, Clipwing Cub is a truly great flying RS airplane. It's a little bit sad that E-Flight discontinued it, but uh, I mean, uh, as long as it works, I will surely just keep on flying it. So far, the modified landing gears uh, has held up uh, fine. I, I don't expect them to last forever. And uh, I think the, uh, it's a really bad design choice when you make these uh, mounting uh, parts on the fuse uh, plastic uh, and uh, certainly if you don't have like a, a, a continuous steel bar going uh, from wheel to wheel uh, I just think that this is uh, a bad design landing gear design really and it's the same on the E-Flight uh, Turbo Timber and, and Timber Night Timber X and Timber X uh, and they are, the, I, I suppose there are many people that have actually broken these parts and they are super difficult to, to get together when, once you've broken them. And there are no real replacement parts because they are like an integrated part of the fuse. So, so in, in order to actually have a, a, a unbroken part, you have to replace the whole fuse. <clears throat> and it's a really uh, bad thing when you actually could have done this much better on the design board. But I think this, this still is a really great flying RS airplane and you can put floats on this one. Uh, I can certainly compare this to my FMS J3 Cub 1400mm. It's a little bit wider wingspan but I think it's almost as agile as this one. I do think that the FMS J3 Cub is more scale detailed so I really dig it and love it. Um, <clears throat> but then again, this is more agile and it's a, it's a variation, it's a click wing cub, uh, so I will certainly keep it. I can also compare this one uh, to my um, um, Aeros RC Bigfoot and my FMS Kingfisher, which are also kind of similar sized high wing RC airplane. Uh, and I have to say that the Aeros RC Bigfoot is super agile and, and really, really fun to fly. It's also a feature because it does have LED lights and flaps. The only downside to the uh, Bigfoot is actually there are no <coughs> uh, like uh, custom-made floats because I would really love to fly it on floats. Uh, and if you look at the FMS Kingfisher, it does come with the floats and everything. Uh, but it's not as agile uh, as the Aeros Bigfoot, uh, as this one or as the FMS J3 Cub. Uh, but uh, still, I like it. Uh, my only wish is that um, uh, Horizon Hobby would stop making these plastic parts for the landing gears because um, it's something that breaks and when they do break, it's very difficult to repair in a good way.